Hi, let's see how to use a blend post tool, also known as set driven key in Maya. So where can you find this tool? This tool is in the animation shelf. And if you don't see the animation shelf, just click on shelves, animation, and it will appear. And now how to use it. So you click the blend pose. Now select your target objects, like the selected in the network view. Select the driver objects, which will be this one. So now this window pops up. You can, uh, if you want to, you can change, modify the relationships, which one to use and which one to not use as drivers and as uh, targets. Good. And uh, now let's first, let's add our first pose. Good. So this will be our base pose. And now let's add another one. And uh, notice how this changes to active. And in order to make the pose, you need to change it to inactive. If you don't do it and you will do your pose, it will just pop right back to what it was originally. So all your work will be on this pose will be discarded. So make sure, make sure to turn it on inactive and then start the pose. So I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna hold control so it snaps to increments. And um, now I'm gonna select select this one. You see, sometimes it's it's just tricky. So I'm just gonna select all of them and pose. Go to pose two, change it to inactive. Move them up a bit. We can hit update. Now we see the pose change. Let me let me change the pose some more. And I'm gonna hit update. So now the pose is set. Good. So these are our two poses, pose one and pose two. Close it for now. And now you will see uh, if I move this back, you can see our, our boxes move and they're blending between the two poses we originally set for them. So this is a basic example how it works. Let's take it a step further. I'm gonna hit plant pose, select one of my objects, and add pose number three. I want pose three to be the same as pose one, so something like this. And uh, hit inactive. And now what I want to do is add some rotation. And I'm going to move my driver up a bit. Hit update. So these are our three poses. One, two, and three. Okay, let me, let me hit close. And let's just uh, reset it back to pose one. Now watch what happens. If I move my driver left and right, my boxes move up and down they're blending between pose one and two if i move it up if i move my driver up and down my boxes rotate because they're blending between uh, pose one and three but if i move my driver to the left and to the top now they're blending between these two poses So keep in mind that you can use uh, multiple axes. We could also add some rotation to the driver and uh, make the movement more complex. Also notice uh, 
now because uh, your transfer translate values are in this uh, orangish color you, you can't move them because they are binded to this uh, blend pose and uh, to release it from it you can or find your this chop network that was created for this blend pose and uh, you can you need to delete it now it will it messed up my uh, my boxes and I should have uh, cleaned the transforms before I started because now I could have just uh, reset all or their positions but I didn't so need to position them back by hand but now you can see you can move them again so. let's move to example number two which is uh, this kind of hand curl and this is a super typical example all the hand gestures and um, all sorts of poses this is a very typical example for a blend pose let me show you how you can make your own I'm just gonna reset it copy the name because I'm gonna uh, create it in a moment first I'm gonna be begin by creating my own custom slider hit edit parameter interface drag in a float just call it hand curl and make it uh, the range make the range from 0 to 1 uh, you can use a custom range but I like uh, 0 1 so as you can see now it doesn't do anything so let's add the blend pose I'm just gonna select yeah, actually I'm gonna deselect everything hit the blend pose I'm gonna select my target objects, which are these bones. I'm gonna select the driver object, which is uh, this null object. I'm gonna modify. I'm gonna modify the selection, the driver, target, and driver selection. And uh, in here, I don't want the x, y, and z position to drive the animation. I want to my I want my hand curl parameter to control it. So I'm just going to type in the filter, hand curl, select it, and hit accept. Good. Uh, now let's add our first pose, which is obviously this one, this default pose, and let's add our second pose. Set update, and let's go to inactive, and let's try to select all these guys, and uh, let's try to go to I want my uh, local my object okay and uh, So you see, it's sometimes it's tricky. You need to turn it on and off again. Um, I don't know. I don't know why, but sometimes it's tricky to to grab and move the objects you want to. But you know, just turn it off, select it, and turn it on again. Don't don't forget to hit the inactive. And now you can uh, pose your objects. And let's hit update. Okay, so the position is stored. Now. Uh, looks like so it looks like by accident I might have deleted the first pose so let's just go back and uh, hit inactive reset it and let me just hit update uh, also it might be a good idea to set this to one and update it zero one. okay so that this might have been the issue the, there was uh, the same parameter so now we should be all good 
Good, and now, now you can see we have our little hand curl. And now let's move to this slightly more complex example. First, let me show you my setup. So my main model is in here. This is the model. And I in here, I just split it to parts and I applied materials to it. That's all I did in this step. And I created these objects from it. And here's a simple parenting of of these these three parts. And these are just my objects. And I have my main blend pose uh, animation control on controller in here. Let's have a look at the poses. So my default first one, the second one is rotation of this lock. Now this switches and this locks pop to the side. Now the main ga first gate opens and in here the second gate opens. So I have these five poses. And now if you animate these poses, it looks something like this. And you see, you get this complex uh, movement by just by moving one slider. But you can also take it uh, one step further. In this example, I uh, animated the uh, the parameter and I used uh, curves to add some character and more more life to it. So it's it's not just like uh, one linear interpolation. It, it stops, it slows down, it uh, goes faster. So first I'm gonna play you the animation, which ends in here, 185. And it's been enhanced with, with these curves and with more keyframes. And the second one is uh, just a linear interpolation. So let's have a look at the first one. And now we will see how it looks just with just straight uh, interpolation. So here's once again the enhanced one. And this is the linear interpolation. So remember that you can enhance your animation with curves and uh, more keyframes and you don't, don't just have to use uh, straight linear interpolation of your poses. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.